Hello, this is the Linux Gamer, and today I intend to do something that will be beneficial not only to Linux users, but also to Windows and Mac users, and hopefully I'll soon have something for Chrome users. So Adobe Flash Player was discontinued at the beginning of this year, as I'm sure you've probably heard. There were security issues, which means now is a good time for disclaimers. Obviously, Adobe Flash does have security problems. That's why they discontinued it, so please be very careful with this. That's why it's actually kind of helpful that these are non-browser versions. The second disclaimer is, as these are non-browser versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux, these will not work on a Chromebook. I am sorry. And the third disclaimer is you might not be able to play every Flash game since you still have to get the Flash games file off the internet and some of them may have been deleted. Anyway, now that that's through, I will be demonstrating how to do it for Linux, and I'll sort of be demonstrating how to do it for Windows, since I do have to use Wine since I'm on Linux, but I'll probably it'll probably be pretty similar that you'll just launch the EXE as, you know, a regular program instead of running it with Wine and Terminal, or just right-click. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to be doing the Linux one first. You want to get the content debugger version of the projector, not the regular one. So we'll just save that. And then, we'll, to run Flash games, you need the file for the Flash game, which is in SWF format. So for instance, flipline.com has a bunch of these. Flipline.com had a lot of very popular Flash games, so we're just going to go to one of them that I kind of liked. We're gonna go and see a version of the web page from 2020 because this was pre-Flash Player. And while the Flash Player files, like the game files, they are still stored on flipline.com, the HTML code of the games themselves does not provide any reference to the Flash Player file. So to find it, we open the page in Internet Archive, and then we press Control-Shift-I, or Command-Shift-I if you're on Mac, to open the inspect thing. So this is the index.html file, and now we're going to press Control or Command F to search it for SWF. And then, as you can see here, I'm just going to make this section a little bigger. This is the game file, and this is where the game file is on the internet, so I'm just going to and select all of it. Okay, sorry, this is really annoying. Okay, grab the end of it. Okay, now copy that link. You don't need to paste this one to archive.org, and then paste it into the URL bar on your browser, and it will download the file. So we're just going to stick that in the downloads folder too. So, the Flash Player is in an archive. We'll just ar open the archive. This is the Flash Player itself. This is the license, and that's also the license. I'll just trash the archive, too. So we're just going to open the Downloads folder in Terminal. And to run the Flash Player, dot slash Flash Player Debugger, and then space, and then the name of the SWF you want to want to run, so in this case, Cactus McCoy 2 v2 underscore 1 dot SWF. And it'll pop up the Adobe Flash Player window running your file, and just to prove it works. And in fact, to prove it works even harder, this is my save file. As you can tell, I have been playing, I can play, but anyway, the people who use Windows, which is probably the majority of you, will want to know how to do this too, so we'll go do that now. Okay, so for the Windows user, again, you'll want to download the projector content debugger. This one doesn't download in an archive, it's just an EXE, there's no licenses involved or anything. and. This one, you'll just 
open with wine or double click if you are on Windows and run EXEs without the need for a compatibility layer and then we go to file open and then we can find the local file because we're running this off the computer not the internet and we can just move this out of the way and we can drag it here and boom so that's how you do that for windows as well thank you for watching Goodbye.